Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. We start from the region. At least 19 female students were killed last night in a fire at a high school dormitory in the community of Madia in Guyana. The government said an estimated 57 children were housed in the dormitory and that many were trapped. Back home now, a 15-year-old boy is in custody over the stabbing murder of his 19-year-old brother, Norlando MacDonald, on Saturday night. The brothers reportedly had a dispute over a bucket inside their house at Washington Mews, an informal settlement tucked away behind Westmead Willows in Portmore St. Catherine. Defendant Charlene Ashley has sought to paint developer Juliet Holness as dishonest amid revelations that Mrs. Ashley faced losing the entrance to her home to make way for the lawmaker's $800 million apartment complex. Mrs. Holness is the director and majority shareholder of JAJ Development and Holdings Limited, the real estate company that is suing Mrs. Ashley for a splintered title for a property in St. Andrew. Acting Corporate Public Relations Manager at the National Water Commission, Delano Williams, is warning that the state entity will take strong action against persons who defy a prohibition order issued Sunday to dissuade persons from using potable water for non-essential purposes. The prohibition order, which takes effect on May 26, makes it unlawful for persons in drought-stricken areas to use potable water for watering gardens, lawns, grounds and farms, as well as the washing of vehicles by the use of a hose, among other things. In sports, Carmelo Anthony, who spent 19 years in the U.S. National Basketball Association League, announced his retirement on Monday. In your currency trading, at midday today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $154.87, the British pound sterling for $197.03, and the Canadian dollar for $117.07. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Greener Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.